It is, in fact, a 5 k -er chat. We are... That's not too bad, honestly. All right, we're just using my my uh, my homie Blitzen. <laughs> we're not getting fancy with any uh, Pokeballs. I don't even know who's in right at the moment. Who's who's in the daycare? I would like to take my Pokemon back. Uh, oh, <laughs> I had to think about that. Oh my god, I had to think about that. It's my Galarian Rapidash. <laughs> <laughs> I I really had to I was like what the I was thinking regular Rapidash okay let me get out of here this is the wrong box I have still haven't released all these Mien Fus okay let's send T now we can put Arcanine in you say Arcanine chat or Arcanine I think one of these is a Pidove, dude. <laughs> we'll never be free. Yeah, I was thinking Cantoni and Rapidash, and I'm like... Huh? <laughs> had, to, uh, had, to, had to remember there. Arcanine. I've heard Arcanine pronounced weird too. There was one TikTok of this guy opening cards and he said Arcanine's super weird. I can't remember how he said it. Oh, it was so weird. It was just like, what? How do you interpret that name like that? Arcanini. Yeah, it was something like that. It was like Arcanini. There's our Pidove chat. This has either been blessed or cursed. How will Pidove treat us today? We'll find out. Oh, you'll find out. I'm about to summon it. You'll find out. Alright, hold on. Let me... If you missed it, chat, I did upload a new YouTube short today of my Garchomp collection. If you ever wanted to see it. It's pretty snazzy. Yeah, I don't think anything- has anything else happened <laughs> since yesterday? We didn't get any shinies yesterday. Yeah, Padov does not emote, does it? It- it does not... <laughs> not a very expressive Pokemon, you might say. Not a- not a Gengar. Welcome back. Hey, Shinala, thanks for the 28 months. I appreciate it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 26, 27, 28. <laughs> My brain flatlined. Thanks for the 28 months, Shinala. Welcome back. We out here flatlining already. Silver 317. I agree, w bot. 317 I agree. W silver 317 317 W. 317 W. 317 W. 317 W. 317 W. That's good. All right. I think this is our first. 317 W. Silver 317 W. No, I'm just kidding. 317 W. Silver 317 W. Just kidding. 317 W. Silver 317 W. W silver three hundred and seventeen. Did he break chat? Is the bot just broken? Three hundred and seventeen W. No, he's good. He's good. <laughs> he's good. He got better. Bot moment. My face went bot moment. Okay, now the next egg should definitely one thousand percent be Growlithe. I think. <laughs> I think. Unless this is some other mystery Pokemon. Okay, it's Growlithe. <laughs> it is, it is in fact Growlithe. All right. We're good. So this was cashed in, chat. This was Badoof Bucks were cashed for this, so that's why we're hunting Growlithe. But Growlithe is just a good bean, so... This is one of those, uh... 
You know, I didn't pick it, but sure. <laughs> sure. Why not? Why the frick not? Man, it's been a while since we've done BDSP. I still have Shaman sitting here. <laughs> Ugh. I just don't know if uh, resetting for legends is legendaries is like my type of uh, shiny hunting chat. It's it's a lot. Oh, going after Alpha Alakazam, nice. I got a shiny Abra and Polka Clicker today. <laughs> uh, to go for Darkrai, yeah, it's weirdly exhausting. It's so little effort, but, like, a huge amount of effort at the same time, like, brain-wise. I don't know how to, like, put it. It's just, like, taxing. We haven't returned to Shaman. We still have Arceus, Darkrai. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Happy May, chat. We are in the month of May. Hopefully we'll we'll get some sort of Scarlet-Violet news this, this month. <laughs> Please. Please, Scarlet Violet news. To tackle a legendary hunt? Yeah, absolutely. It's just like, bruh. It seems like a special month, I guess, because a lot of people are done with school this month, maybe, and, you know, it's starting to be more warm and pools and stuff open i don't know <laughs> i don't know but you're kind of you're right it does feel like hopefully something will uh will happen dude i mean uh, when was the first initial announcement chat i can't even like keep track of time anymore why does i feel like it was last year <laughs> feels like it was ten thousand years ago it wasn't, but it, it kind of feels that way. Yeah, was it the end of February? Mid-Feb? It was crazy. Buck wild. <laughs> yeah, was that the Pokemon Day thing? I have no memory. <laughs> Every day is a blur. Oh, I have, uh, Pukamuku is sitting on the desk again, hanging out. Maybe Pukamuku will give us some, uh, some good luck today. Yeah, it was when it right- <laughs> It was right when, uh, the Russian stuff started happening. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then Nintendo went silent on all their platforms. That's gotta be the strangest, like, lead-up to a Pokemon game announcement ever. That was so weird. <laughs> they didn't announce anything until it was like an hour before the stream. They were like, oh, uh, hey guys, we have a stream. It's happening in an hour. <laughs> and yet Japan announced it like a week before, so... What lead up? What's up, Enzo? What lead up are you talking about? I guess they were going for like... I, I don't know. <laughs> Not like Pokemon has anything to do with uh, what's going on in the world. It was just like a weird executive decision made at Nintendo. Because Nintendo and Pokemon were both like... Quiet. Uh-oh. Don't you die on me, internet. Shit. <laughs> Don't you do it! Turtwig, nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, the only two eggs I need for Sinnoh and Poke Clicker chat are Carnivine. Why does Carnivine betray me again and again? It's one of the mo my most beloved 4th gen Pokemon, and yet Carnivine, in, no matter what game it is, is just like... 
No. <laughs> I need Pachi, too. I haven't hatched Pachi. Uh, you need Moonstones, insert name. Which you can buy using quest points, or you can find them in the underground when you finally unlock that. Yeah, I don't know why people get mad at... Like, Pokemon has donated a lot of money to, to many different causes. Super weird. Yeah, and then there were people, like, just show news. <laughs> Ugh, we live in a society. I mean, Pokemon is a billion dollar organization. That is true. Not million, billion. Throwback. Oh, good, good stuff. Is that one Nat, uh, Nat Dexter still commenting under every Pokemon tweet? I still remember they commented under, like, uh, one of those types of tweets, and it was Joe Serebi, of all people, ripped him a new one. <laughs> When you're getting torn down by Joe, something's wrong. You really messed up. <laughs> you have really messed up. What's up, Leo? This is such a good song. Cyrus has the, one of the best, oh, who has the best villain song, chat? That's such a hard contest. I always wanna say Archie and Maxie cause that song is just like fantastic, but Cyrus's song hits so hard. Even though I don't like Lysander, Lysander has a good theme too. All right, how many Growlithe, uh... Have we hatched? We, I love how we just have a rogue Padove and a Ponyta in here. <laughs> That's how we're rolling, chat. Also, they're in Great Balls. Don't, uh... Don't, don't be upset -y. <laughs> I would have done Fastball if I could, but this is, uh... This is my boy Blitzen, my one of my f or first shinies I ever got on this channel, so. I usually have success when I have shiny parent into shiny child. We've, we've had success with that before, but then also no. We'll see, we'll see chat. We're on there. I almost thought about getting a, uh, a wig for a Rangaroo, but that would have been like a lot. <laughs> I've never worn a wig in my life. I'm waiting for the Pokemon Center to add the Hisuian Zorua plush, but it's the weekend and they typically never add anything on the weekend, sadly. Ah, uh, this was Badoof Bucks, Enzo. This was cashed in by Destruggle. Yeah, somebody redeemed it. Growlithe's a good Pokemon. I got no problem shiny hunting Growlithe. Although I'm sh I'm surprised more like there hasn't been like a Stone Journer or something like a really weird Pokemon cash in. I shouldn't give you all ideas. Actually, I'm gonna be quiet now. 
Yeah, it's golden week in Japan, chat, so they're all on vacation or away. I don't know what they do in golden week. <laughs> but probably not going to be anything uh, out of Japan anytime soon. In the boo-boo keys. They've made it a dessert, I think, it turned into. There's, uh, the Pokemon Cafe has a Hisui and Zora dessert. I'm fairly certain. Oh, why don't we have one of those Pokemon Cafes here? I'd even take the Kirby Cafe. <laughs> Anything. We don't have cute, fun little restaurants like that here, really. Oh, speaking of another good villain song. I actually don't like the Archie Maxi remix in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon as much. I think the or I think Oraz has uh the better remix. That in the original. I mean it's not bad. <laughs> it's not to say it's bad, but uh not my favorite. I really didn't like, ugh. I really did not like the Cyrus song from BDSP, his theme. BDSP let me down with music. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I mean, it let me down in a lot of ways, but uh, I was so looking forward to a remix of Cyrus's theme and it was just kind of like, well, guess I'll go back to the original. <laughs> I guess I'll go back to the original. I think the only BDSP song that I was I really was into was like the Elite Four theme. I mean, Cynthia's was good, I guess, but it's really hard to ruin Cynthia's theme, right? <laughs> you have to actively try to ruin that song. Oh yeah, Masuda is awful in BDSP. We have not done Masuda in BDSP in a long time for a reason. <laughs> it stinks! Not really a turn and tube. I would not... Like, again, unless you can get it for a really good price and you have an like, active interest in playing through Gen 4. Even going through Gen 4, going through Sinnoh and Poke Clicker chat, and just all the old garbage, like, oh boy, Onyx and Graveler. <laughs> Golbat. There's so little new Pokemon variety. <sighs> I mean, I'd rather get Arceus through uh, PLA. Unless you want a shiny hunted, in which case, it's uh. You know, a lot of work. Hideaways were fun. They could definitely, like, expand on that. Yeah, if you want to play through Sinnoh, play Platinum. That's <laughs> either, uh, either buy it or, uh, it emulates really well. Just play, uh, just play Platinum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, arf, arf. Just go and play Platinum. I was so excited to say, uh... To say, to see the Distortion World in HD, and that's not really what we got, huh? Yeah, them locking Shinies in PLA is lame, but that's always- that's- what else is new? <laughs> that's always lame. I had an article, it was like one of the major gaming websites that was uh, on like my my feed on my phone and it was like, some crazy people are still shiny hunting Pokemon and it's like, what? Huh? <laughs> it's the most out of touch article I've ever seen in my life. Surprise. Surprise. People like to shiny hunt? 
It almost felt like... Wow, shiny hunters are stupid idiots who waste their time. It felt kind of mean-spirited. Shadow Tina. So sad. We did call it. We did, in fact, call it. Is this the Oras version? I, I have this playlist looped. But I'll take it. This is this is a, such a good song. Oh my god, this is such a good song. We do kind of waste our lives. I mean, it, it, how you spend your time is up to you, man. Nobody can dictate what's a good use of time that you that that you're using like you're doing yourself unless it's you. I was a cl I don't know how I got that sentence out, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Only you can dictate what you do with your time is a waste or not. It's so bizarre. Every time I see a Twitter thread on BDSP, there's always like, uh... People who are just unabashedly defending it. It's so strange. A par for the course for Pokemon fans, I guess, though. Bruh, Tyler, did you just add a free Pokemon in there? <laughs> Bruh. Like, one of the criticisms was that it's still not available with home, which is true. And then somebody was like, oh, well, if you watch the present, uh, you know it's coming out uh, eventually. Bro, this guy just add. I was I was thinking about making it a redemption. <laughs> Where you could spend Bidoof bucks and get a, get your favorite Pokemon uh, as a as a uh, command, and then this guy goes and just adds it for free. <laughs> what the frick, Tyler? <laughs> oh, I talked. We talked about this. I have talked to him about this. I was- I was literally one day like, hey Tyler, what do you think about, like, doing some sort of, uh, the doof bucks for that? <laughs> I can't believe- I can't believe you've done this! Ugh. <laughs> I haven't even decided yet, it was just like, uh, you know, one of those where I throw an idea around. I don't know, chat, what do you think? How much? He's just giving away free product, I know. And then this guy, don't you be with me. This guy. Now, you're, now we're gonna see Poliwhirl added. Tyler's gonna add his favorite boy. I don't even have an exclamation for my boy. There's no exclamation Garchomp. <laughs> Two million bucks. Bruh. Let me hit the, the bruh button. Bruh. There we go. Glalie will always be the first. I mean, this is true. This is true. Oh, the Oddish Leo? Yeah, it's cute. I like it. I, I haven't been convinced by any of these so-called leaks, though. I haven't seen anything that's would indicate that they're real. I think people are getting ang like itchy for news and so people are just like creating a lot of fakes right now. All the starter ones are so weird because they're like at somebody's workstation. <laughs> it's so weird. Huh? 
fast as a jet airplane. Garchomp rules. <laughs> Garchomp freaking rules. Yeah, there's the... I, I don't know how... Where people are getting this from. I don't think it's real. It's nice, though. It's the perfect kind of, like... Uh, it's still fundamentally oddish while also being quite different. Also, if they made a form for Oddish chat, would they also- would they give the whole line? Would we get Blossom and Vileplume? The guy putting animations in BDSP? Yes. Do you see all the people who were like, no, I like it. I like the, the flying animations in the comment section. <laughs> no, I like ugly animations, actually. I would love a Bellsprout form. Usually they pick one. Like, you know how Beedrill got a Mega, and then like, a few gens later it got a G-Max, or Butterfree did? They only like to pick one at a time. So it'd probably be either or. Victory Bell would be great, though. No more repeats? Uh, which- which very popular Pokémon is gonna show up again with a brand spanking new form, chat? Charizard? Gengar? Lucario? <laughs> we saw a regular Meowth in the trailer, so we know Meowth isn't getting form number 500. Maybe. <laughs> Unless it's a little deception. I'm good on Meowth forms, to be honest, chat. I'm good. We've gotten plenty. We're good. <laughs> We're good. What's up, Leasing? Mega G Max XYZ Z Move Charizard Supreme King. Tropius would be perfect. A Galarian form and a G-Max in the same gen? Exactly. We're good on, <laughs> on Meowth. We're, we're quite, we're good on Meowth. I don't look forward to uh, the new Pogo set. TCG set that has Radiant Charizard in it. <laughs> they can, they just couldn't resist. They absolutely could not resist, chat. One fear. Radiant Charizard price, $600. <laughs> yeah, that Diglett is super weird. Why does Diglett need another form? Like, what about Tentacool or Venonette? Or seal. Diglett does not need another form. I don't like repeats. Zubat, yeah. Zubat's another classic Gen 1 Pokemon that's gotten Jack Squat. They're shiny. That's just a fancy way of saying shiny, Justin. It's like the uh, the shiny Eevee. It's called Radiant Eevee or something like that. Radiant. I don't know what's wrong with saying shiny. I mean, they never said shiny to begin with. It was always shining. <laughs> shining.
I haven't pre-ordered anything from the Ghost Collection yet because I'm not... Like, every recent Pokemon product has been super easy to get and under retail. So I haven't been super convinced to pre-order anything lately. Except for the Arceus figure box, that's the only thing. That is the only thing, and that's mostly for the figure. <laughs> I love the figure boxes they do, not, not really for the cards inside. I haven't pulled Jack Squat from any of those boxes lately. I think it comes out on the 6th, Justin. So this Friday? That's what GameStop tells me anyway. Yeah, I'm hoping the Eevee box will be super available so I can get it maybe less than $50. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. Pokemon cards are not cheap. No, I haven't gotten mine yet. I've opened the Morpico box, the, the V Union. Got one hollow barrel. <laughs> and then I opened uh, the Spring Collection with Rowlet, Oshawott, and Cyndaquil. I pulled like a few V cards, nothing very interesting. And I ordered a Lucario box that hasn't gotten here. And I ordered the RCS figure box. See if there's any better pulls in those. I can save those too and maybe we can do like a little card stream. Because it'll be a while until Astral Radiance. I'm not very excited about Astral Radiance, to be honest. I don't know if that's just me. Like, it's fine. 45? I thought it was, like, retailed for 40? I got it from TCG Player for 25 bucks, and I know it's on eBay for, like, 31. It's been at Target every time I've been recently. You're not buying Astral Radiance? Yeah, I'm not, like, super jazzed for the set. Gotta, I gotta be honest. That looks like, uh, that's Semi-Sage. I know that, that Mounkey from anywhere. <laughs> I know a Mounkey when I see one. <laughs> yeah, how messed up is it that Arcanine has, like, a brand new form and it still is getting, like, no card art? <laughs> it's starting to make me suspicious. It's like Air Neos in Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it's Air Neos. The Hummingbird uh, Neos fusion has just been like mysteriously missing in the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game for like 10 years now. It has vanished off the face of the earth. And there's like one team up card with all of like Neos' fusions and he's like Mike wazowski would you can see, like, part of his wing, but his face is covered. It's super weird. <laughs> I don't know why they're banishing Air Neos. Yeah, how did Lilligant get a, get a card? <laughs> so we have Lilligant sucks. It's starting to get sus, that's all I'm saying. There's something weird. Like, people like Arcanine. <laughs> it's a very popular Pokemon. They have to know this. There's some anti-Arcanine agenda in the TCG offices. That Beedrill alt art is really nice. So I don't know if that's Astral Radiance or a future set, but that's quite nice. Yeah, there's something, there's something. <laughs> hmm, not right here. 
Growlithe was like one of the big Hisui forms they started pushing too. That was like the big the big one at the finale of the PLA trailer. Like, bruh. <laughs> so weird. I, can we judge any Hisui Pokemon with how weird the battle system in PLA is? I can't think of any of them as, like, competitive because PLA is such a weird Pokemon battle system. I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> I guess we'll find out because we know Hisui and Zoroark is in Scarlet Violet. So we'll find out how good some of them are uh, in competitive for that. You think there's going to be an explanation as to why there's Hisui Pokemon in Scarlet Violet, or are they just going to be like, a wizard did it? <laughs> oh, we don't know. They're like here now. Wow. Professor Dingus Dorcas uh, discovered all these brand new Hisui Pokemon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hit him with uh, hit him with one of these. Pokemon long thought extinct have been appearing. There better be a new fossil. I hope this isn't like a, a Gen 7 where they skip fossils completely. That would make me super sad. I would be very sad. And I wasn't even, like, one of the people that could hate- that hated, uh, Dracovish and company. I mean, clearly. <laughs> Give me a Spinosaurus fossil Pokemon. Pokemon Game Freak, please. Get the guy who made Tyrantrum in uh, Aurorus. I trust that man. I trust him with my life. He'll, he'll, he'll pull through. Make something super spicy. Good night, Eternitube. Have a good one. Growl goof. Growl goof. Yeah, it's one of those things that I don't think they really put much thought into, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think it's one of those things that's gonna be super convoluted. They're just gonna give like a one sentence one sentence explanation, if any, and that'll be it. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be, uh... It, it, like, there's like a separate quest, maybe, where you have to go and rediscover all the Hisui Pokemon. That would be cool, though. <laughs> That'd be, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> Arce- <laughs> In the start of Scarlet and Violet, Arceus just descends and is like, Hey. Here. Just- throws out, just spits up all the Hisui Pokemon and then vanishes. <laughs> Goes, bye. Yeah, maybe they'll be like, oh, Arceus did it. <laughs> Instead of a wizard, it's, uh, God Arceus was responsible. I mean, think about all the fossil Pokemon just running around in Crown Tundra chat. That really makes absolutely zero sense. <laughs> These Pokemon were thought to be extinct for thousands of years. Uh, there's just Tyrantrums in Aurora, um, like Amora's just hanging out. <laughs> they're just, they're just right back there. Y did you miss them? Shaking my head. 
Shaking, 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 shaking my head. Come on, Growlithe. We need another, uh, it's been a while. The last, uh, Masuda, I think, was Mienfu. Basculin forgot to evolve. <laughs> Basculin forgot. They just kind of forgot. I don't, I don't know. What do you want from me? <laughs> Masuda himself appears in the game, and it's just like, we put them in because, why not? And then vanishes. Just goes, peace out. Wonder if Dracovish and company will return for Scarlet Violet. I hope all the fossils come back. That would be nice. That would be nice. You think Overworld Shinies will be back, chat? I still don't know if I buy that, like, what is it, a Starly? Why do they keep bringing Starly back? <laughs> I am so sick of Starly. This is an anti-Starly stream. Hey, you know these Gen 4 Pokemon that were just shoved down your throat multiple games in a row? Well, guess what? They're back. You hope so, you hope so, you think they'll be back? I- I- I have a feeling they might. I still think the starters are going to be locked, though. <laughs> I still think the starters will be locked. Star Wars will 100% be locked, yeah. Yeah, me too. There's a lot of Pokemon that are just completely absent or have been, like, gone forever. A lot of Gen 5. There's several, like, Gen 7 Pokemon that have been banished to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, and the Legendary, yeah. Which is such a bummer. There's nothing more lame than having to wait years later for a stupid GameStop event. <laughs> we still don't have Eternatus. Gen 9 is months away and we still don't have shiny Eternatus. Let alone several others like Urshifu. Lame. Komala. Yeah, where's Komala? Where's Minior? Where's Blitzel? They've just been gone. Absolutely van vamoosed. Got our first 30, chat. I always hit the wrong one. Mm -hmm. That's another Pokemon that's been like completely a wall lately. I want to. There's like another. Je yeah, Electros has been gone for a while. You know who we've been missing, chat? <laughs> Where's Oracorio? Where's Bruxish? Where are the true Pokemon? We're out here in the trenches. Oh, what kind of tea did you get to struggle? <laughs> I 
You love Oracorio? I don't know if I have an opinion on Oracorio. It's one that I forget exists a lot. You know, Pick and Peck has been gone too. There's a lot of 7th gen Pokemon that have just like... ...been completely banished. What is the best form of Oracorio? That's a great question. Let me look. <laughs> Let me look because I can't remember them off the top of my head. Oracorio. Not spell that right. Uh. I don't know. I guess the pom pom style is funny. They're all goofy. What's the best Oracorio chat? The red one? Yeah, the red one's nice. Look, these all look like they could be birds in Rio. <laughs> these look like Blue Sky Studios presents Pokemon. The red one, the purple one. Anybody like the pink one? Oh, Tyler, Tyler said he likes the pink one. I mean, they definitely feel like they belong in Gen 7. I'll give them that. What's up, Red Wing? Purple. Seems like everybody likes the purple one. I'm the only one that said, like, the yellow one. <laughs> There's, like, two of us. They have nice shinies. Just like most Gen 7 Pokemon, they have nice shinies. We're discussing Oracorio, Red Wing. <laughs> Huge, hotly debated Pokemon topic, I know. Who is the best- which is the best Oracorio? I mean, I don't think any of them are necessarily bad. You know, I would unironically shiny hunt Bruxish. Because it's got a good shiny. <laughs> It does! I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna say it. It does. That ain't the worst Pokemon. I'm just gonna say it. Me, James. Who else are we missing from Seven? Oh, Young Goose and Gumshoes have been gone for a while. They can stay gone. <laughs> That is a terrible regional rodent. Who's worse, chat? Pat Rat or Young Goose? Oh, I had to be able to hunt it to struggle on a Switch game. I can't hunt Oracorio on anything right now, so that would get rejected. Unless it's in Scarlet and Violet. And that's in which case we could have a conversation. Absolutely, Pat Rat. Yeah, Pat Rat is really bad. <laughs> like, Gumshoe Detective could have been fun, but they just made it really ugly. <laughs> it doesn't look like a, like a detective. They soiled it. I wouldn't mind shiny hunting Crabrawler, but I would never evolve it. I know. I mean, I don't evolve most of the Pokemon I shiny hunt. Like, this will stay a Growlithe, because I already have Arcanine, but... <laughs> absolutely would not evolve Crabrawler. Oh, no. <laughs> Who else are we missing? I mean, a lot of 7 Gen Pokemon are in this game. Seven Gen is really small. <laughs> there's not a lot of Seven Gen Pokemon. There, there's not a lot, a lot of them. Oh yeah, Vivillion has been gone for a while. Flabebe has been gone for a while. Oh, I know everybody's out here missing Furfrow. <laughs> How about Skidoo?
Everybody's favorite Pokemon, Skidoo. <laughs> Ooh, how is Aromatisse in this game? Like, Swirlix is great. I'm glad Swirlix is in here, so I guess they'd have to include the other one. The other one, derogatory. Look at it. Disgusting. Skid who? <laughs> who? Else from oh yeah, Pyroar. We were missing Pyroar and Litleo. It would be fun to shiny hunt. I, I would be down. Why not? Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what shiny hunting in Scarlet and Violet is like. I hope we get, like, chain fishing back or something. More unique methods for shiny hunting would be nice. It's always nice to have options, you know? Love the options. Man, 6th gen is also really small. 6th <laughs> gen is also, like, tiny, dude. They really shrunk down generations after, like, 5. It's like, Gen 5 onwards, each gen is, like, tiny baby. Which... Uh, I don't know. Is that is that a good or a bad thing, chat? Are gens better off on the larger side, like one, two, etc., or are they better small? Six gen is especially small because there's no like form, like Glorian forms or anything. You just have mega evolutions. Uh, this is Bubsy 3D. more manageable. Yeah, I guess it depends. Tramp- Trampa. <laughs> they do a fusion dance and become Trampa. Turt or Drampa, yeah. They're both in this game, though. They're both in this game. Do I have shiny- I think I have both. Let me see. They're kind of- Drampa's got a good shiny, but Turnator kind of looks like a zombie. Do I have him in here? Oh, I forgot Wishy Washy's in this game. Uh, da, 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 da. Butterfree's got such a big sprite. Oh yeah, here's Turt. This is a bad shiny, chat. Why is he so small? Don't love that. It's it's not not my favorite, you know. And then Drampa. Yeah, he looks like he's sick. <laughs> he's very sick. Help him. Drampa's is better. There's Drampa's. I love the thick eyebrows. <laughs> the thick dark eyebrows. Much, much better. Oh, there's Betrayer Monkey. He looks like a zombie. He's very sick. Alright, almost to 60. 60 Growlithes. Drampy. <laughs> Drampa who will come and burn down your house if you're a bully. That's so intense. <laughs> Who, whoever designed Drampa's Pokedex entry was feeling some kind of way that day. They were feeling some kind of way.
Wait, what icon? Was it Poker Russ? Po poke, pokey, pokey Russ. Poker Russ. There's so many marks. <laughs> you think they'll bring back uh, Square Shinies, chat? In Gen, uh, Gen 9? Forgot I caught a... <laughs> There's my Pokemon Lab Garchomp. That I totally didn't use to, uh... <laughs> Used to breed Gibble. I was too lazy to make one. You hope not? I don't know if I have... Like, I guess, dude? I don't know. Getting, hatching a square shiny is really satisfying, is what I'll say. But then, like most things in shiny hunting, some people use it to be weirdly, like, elitist. Oh, well you see, my shiny is square, so uh, I win. They're pixels. Nilla wait. I mean, Niller- Niller. <laughs> Miller. Wafers are great. They're good. That's that's good stuff. But with soda? I don't know about that. Pork fajitas with HelloFresh. Nice. Not at the same time, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you clarified. I'm glad you clarified. Do I have any? Oh, I ate all my birthday cake Rice Krispies. Chat, they're gone. <laughs> well, I'm, how will I ever go on? No, they have this line of like, oh, it's real sugar. Has anybody tried that Dr. Pepper Jurassic World berry flavor, by the way? I don't know if that sounds good. I don't know if dark berry flavored Dr. Pepper sounds like that would be good or not. I can't even like imagine the flavors like coexisting together yeah it's like it almost looks like pepsi it's like a dark purpley blue color it's brand new if i see it i'll try it but i don't think it sounds very promising is all i'm saying da -da -da. I feel like Dr. Pepper loves coming out with, like, goofy flavors. Yeah, they have a cream soda one, too. Which, I mean, that sounds better. <laughs> that sounds better than dark berry. Here, let me see if I can find it, chat. It almost looks like alcohol. Like, but it's like Bud Light flavored. Here. I got a tweet, chat. It's real. Check it out. They have it in zero sugar too. Hooray. Dark berry. Like, what kind of berry are we talking here? <laughs> I have many questions. They do be doing stuff. <laughs> they do be doing stuff. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Like, cola with berry? I don't know about that one. Shiny Dr. Pepper. <laughs> shiny Dr. Pepper, bro! I just got shiny Dr. Pepper! <laughs> God, can you imagine a, I, I, a company doing that? Where it's like Funko Pops, but the Chase version? That'd be messed up. Huh? 
I've been seeing more Coke Starlight in stores. Like I, I saw like a pack, they make it in like cans now. It's not just the bottle you can get it in anymore. They actually make it in like cans. Starts this. <laughs> well, you see, I collect Dr. Pepper cans. <laughs> Only scalpers will drink the soda. Truly the darkest, the darkest time. I mean, people were scalping the Pokemon Oreos, let's not forget. And the uh the Mario Amiibo cereal, if anybody remembers that one. People can and will scalp food. <laughs> The Popeye sa chicken sandwich. People will do it. They absolutely will do it. <laughs> Laughing stops. No, what you gotta do is, like, beg Dr. Pepper and be like, Wow, I love you. Give me free product. <laughs> you gotta- you gotta work it into, like, free- free stuff. A Coke can from the Olympics. <laughs> well, I know, uh, Disney has, like, special 50th anniversary Coke cans right now. Or, like, they're, like, fancy bottles. Yes, she like bothered bothered them enough that they finally like gave her a sponsorship or at least sent her free stuff. If you she she's quite a large audience though. I think there's a difference between uh somebody with millions of followers <laughs> being like, "Hey, I'll uh I'll talk about your stuff." Yeah! Remember the Coke bottles with your name on it? I do remember that. What a weird... <laughs> Who thought of that? What a weird marketing gimmick. Like, yeah, sure. Find your Find your name. On our sodi pop. Share a Coke with Steve. <laughs> uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta get all the like the Hey, this is can says Greg. All those, uh, those types of ones. What's, like, the female equivalent? Jennifer! Didn't M&M's do something like that, too? M&M's is another one of those brands that has just done, like... <laughs> a lot of- there's, like, a naked M&M now. Where you don't get- it doesn't come with the chocolate shell. Why? <laughs> Why don't they just sell you the ingredients and you can make your own M&Ms at this point? Like... <laughs> Shellless M&Ms. What a concept. I don't know if they're like some sort of like nut, but they don't have a chocolate shell around them. There's chocolate inside. I don't know how that would be better. Who tests these things? Who gets paid to, like, test these things? I want to know. Sk <laughs> uh, let me Let me see if I can find it. It sounds like I'm, like, shitposting, like I'm lying, but it's a real thing. 
It's a real thing. Kit Kat, okay. Here's one for you, chat. I don't know why this exists. Blueberry Muffin Kit Kats. Why? Why blueberry? Why just not blueberry? Why they gotta put the muffin in there? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, you know who has a lot of weird Kit Kat flavors, chat? Japan. Their Kit Kat flavors are insane. Let's see. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, I found them! I found them, chat. They're called Munchums? Here they are, I found them. This is somebody's, like, review. Why work for a clown when you can work for a king? <laughs> oh, that's... Alright, that's slightly clever. The Dino Eggs Oatmeal? I mean, that's goaded. Dino Eggs Oatmeal? So that's, that's the best. Yeah, ask- what is that, chat? <laughs> what is that? That's the website I go to for all those, uh, the weird food stuff, chat, by the way. That's, uh, a classic. Blueberry Kit Kat without muffin. <laughs> I mean... Blueberry and chocolate? I don't know. I don't know about that one. They're, re they're really trying these days, though. <laughs> they're really trying. Like, these companies are all trying to one-up each other with the- which awful flavor can they come up with next. It's like, every time I go to the store, I feel like there's a new Oreo flavor. <laughs> they just... keep cranking them out. Blueberry chocolate? Eh. I, I mean, I suppose. It's not completely out there. <laughs> it's just the muffin part kind of throws me off. Because you could have just done blueberry and called it a day, but they were like, no, it's got to be part muffin, too. How can you not like muffins? Shout out to that weird, like, muffin. When I was a kid, I, I don't even know how I found this, but there was, like, a website dedicated to, like, muffin. They were kind of like Newgrounds animations. Little muffin shorts. And I thought that was, like, the funniest thing. Haha, <laughs> muffins. Ever shared that with you, Tyler? I should show you that one day, if they're still around. <sighs> Naked M&M's. <laughs> what if? Stick with me, Johnson. M&M. But Nakey. <laughs> What if we take off the shell? Everybody just starts standing up, clapping. People start crying. <laughs> You're a genius! The iconic muffins. They had this one muffin... It was like it was like a scary one. I remember being like legitimately spooked by it as a kid. <laughs> one of those things that just like unsettled me. I had a few instances of things that were like, I remember it was Freddy Fish. It was oh, what was the name of the Freddy Fish game that I played the most? Schoolhouse, the haunted schoolhouse. But basically, you and- Freddy goes into a, a movie theater. I don't know, I guess she and Luther just 
watch movies. <laughs> and there's this weird movie. So it's like, since it's a humongous entertainment game, there's a million things to click on. And there's several different movies you can click through. And there's one that has like this tiny little like sardine animation and it used to like scare me. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. And then this baby game for babies that just unsettled me for some reason. I used to get scared watching YouTubers play uh, those uh, like Ah uh, Oni, those RPG horror games. You know, the early days of those. Like Ib. I still find Ah Oni unsettling to look to look at. Those that like scary purple face. <sighs> Eight pages. Yeah, exactly. Not even like sl I, slender. I was fine, but something about like those pixel RPG maker games were just kind of scary. The days of like a uh, cry of fear. <laughs> the good old uh, golden age of YouTube horror playthroughs. Amnesia the Dark Descent. Yeah, you know that you know all those games were like a, a big labor of love. And that's why I appreciate, like, Stardew Valley. Because Stardew Valley is mostly just one guy. <laughs> like, that's so impressive. Dude just makes the music, makes a really good game. Does everything himself. That rules. I mean, I guess Undertale to some extent, but... It, well, at least with Deltarune, Toby has more people helping him this time, but it's... You know, primarily him. Oh, I can tell you that. <laughs> SpongeBob is trending because Viacom, or Paramount or Viacom, like, struck down the SpongeBob reanimated project that a lot of people worked on. Which, that sucks. Like, people love, like, the Shrek reanimated. It's just scummy for companies to do that. Yeah, that's why SpongeBob is trending. I was gonna watch it too. They they took it down like an hour after it was put up. It was just put up today. And they took it down an hour after, so that's Seems seems malicious. Seems a, a little bit malicious. Yeah, Viacom's bad for that kind of stuff. Always have been. Always have been. Alright, how many Growlis are we at now? Alright, we're halfway through our third box, chat. We're getting there. I am gonna get up real quick and blow my nose though, chat. I'll be right back. I will be uh, right back.
Reminder chat, if you missed it, I did upload a new short today of my Garchomp collection. I don't- I think I'm only missing a few things. I'm missing the Koto Bokia figure because that's a lot of money. <laughs> but I don't think there's much else that I'm, uh, missing out on. It's- it's pretty complete. Also, I did not mean to turn on emote only. <laughs> that was an accident. I hit the wrong button! Oopsies. I think we'll have sparkly bikes in Scarlet Violet. Look at the way my bike is sparkling. My bike is more sparkly than any shiny that I've ever hatched. <laughs> Far more sparkly. You buy a sword and shield. Parasails? That would be fun. That would be super fun. Can we just ride Pokemon in Scarlet Violet? <laughs> Forget bicycles. Just let me get on my Pokemon and go for a little ride. Or a little fly, you know? Yeah, I'm lucky that Garchomp uh, gets a lot of merch. Although, I collect Tyrantrum. Let me tell you how much merch Tyrantrum has got. <laughs> Nothing! There's one lottery kid figure that's been made of Tyrantrum, and that's it. Got me crying in the club. <laughs> Tyrantrum's so cool. How are you not going to make merch of the Tyrannosaurus Rex Pokemon? I'll probably do a short for my Audinos. Uh, I could do one for my Gabite and my Gibble collection. Uh, I don't have my Espers out, but I could do my Espers, my Bewares, Darumakas, you two. What's up, Naysayer? Well, they have that whole, like, uh, fossil museum thing in Japan, and it, it, <laughs> they, they still can't make any merch. There's no Tyrantrum merch. They have the sitting cuties for the Gen 1 and 3 fossils. But they haven't made... or, and 4. They haven't made anything, uh, above that. It, yeah, Gen 4. They haven't made 5 yet. <laughs> they haven't made 5 yet. I don't know what I'm saying. Shiny Hut and Tepig, good luck on the piggy. That's what gets me is that Tyrantrum has a figure, but it's a lottery figure that was sold in a premium Bandai set. Which, premium Bandai, you cannot get on anymore. Whenever there's new Scale World news, I'm gonna have to get crafty. Because they just do not let anybody outside of Japan on that website anymore. Really cool. <laughs> Love that. Ugh. Just cannot get on anymore. It was always a pain to get on. You had to, like, keep clicking to get in. Now it's just impossible. Why they do that is beyond me. Like, oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for, for blocking me out from trying to show off the stuff you're selling. Very cool. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. 
What other Pokemon do I like that has had, like, no merchandise? Zorark has a fair bit. I mean, if you like any sort of starter or legendary, you're pretty much good to go. Because <laughs> there's always a ton. Or if you like something like, you know, Gen Gengar, there's 50 billion things of merch or Lucario. Oh, this is random chat, but the Chaz... <laughs> The Chaz Princeton figure finally went up for uh, for pre-order on AmiAmi after like four years. So I finally pre-ordered Chaz. He comes out next year, like a year from now, March, like May 2023. I'm gonna have to wait a lot, a while longer. But I finally pre-ordered it. Thank God. He comes with all three Ojamas. <laughs> Chaz it up! Jaden and Yusei sold out super fast. I think Alexis did too. I forgot they made Alexis. So I'm, I'm glad I got to pre-order it. I'm still waiting for my Stardust Dragon to show up. <laughs> Any day now. One eternity later. For Pokemon, I don't know. <laughs> Depends on if you have the right charms. I don't really I don't really know what makes what determines that timetable. <laughs> the mood needs to be right. Oh, I beat 10,000 Pokemon on Kanto Route 15. We did it. Hooray. Okay, so chat, I'm gonna run this idea by y'all. Tell me, tell me what you think. I was thinking, because it, it, it is legitimately so large that I don't know how to film it. I, I cannot come up with an idea of how to film it in a way I like it. It's been like a weird, like mental block. What if I just like wheel in Slowpoke one of these days and open it on stream. Because I, I cannot... It, it's just... I can't get the lighting right. The package is so big. It's, it's just not coming together the way I want it to. Which is why it's taken so long. Because I cannot get it right. So I ordered a tripod. A better tripod than what I have. Because the one I have is just a selfie stick. And it sucks. The way it works is you're supposed to, like, pull it to get your phone in there, and it, it always pinches my fingers. <laughs> it's a piece of- it's- it's- it's bad. It's not great. I ordered a new tripod, so I'm thinking we wheel it in. We just- like, I- I don't know, I record it on my phone or something? We'll fig I'll figure it out, but I will announce it before we do it. I'll <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Why did the music just abruptly stop? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's just such a large package that I can't even, like, pick it up properly, Chad. I have to, like, push it. It's too big for me to actually carry. <laughs> I'm not even joking! I cannot pick it up! It's too large. I don't... I don't have the, the, the arms for that. 
I can't even put my, my arms around it. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. It is very heavy and it's the box is huge. I should have enough space. I'll have to stand up. I don't know where I'll stand actually. <laughs> I don't know where I'll stand. It'll it, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. It is big. Absolute unit. <laughs> I don't I can't even like store it in this room. It's 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 sitting elsewhere. Cuz I can't it's such a big package it can't sit in here. Yeah, whoever delivered it. <laughs> whoever delivered it was like why? <laughs> why? It barely fits through the door frame, chat. I'll, I'll <laughs> just to just to illustrate it barely fits through the door frame. Have to get have to get a crane and <laughs> drop it down. Like it's a massive heavy couch. I still live in fear of that uh Almost life-size Garchomp plush that was, like, teased, like, a while back. I don't know what's going on with that. There's been no further news, but... Scary. It did- it does say Slowpoke on the box, ABR. It does say Slowpoke on the box. It has all the details on the side of the box. That backing up noise. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Wide load coming through. <laughs> yeah, I'll have, we'll, have to, we'll have to get some good side, some uh, sound effects in there. It's really, like, if I had, uh, <laughs> I need, like, somebody to film me. I think that's the thing. It it's too difficult for just little old me. So that's why I figure we might as well just, like, do it on stream. <laughs> Y'all can watch me struggle. <laughs> oh, I could probably, like, sleep in the box. It's large enough that I can just, I could just stay there. It's my new box. I can evict Slowpoke from the box and take the box. Tyler does need to fly down and help. <laughs> that would be very nice to have uh, a cameraman. <laughs> I just don't, the, the room is just too small. And there's no really anywhere around here where I can take it and film it outside. God, can you imagine walking by and seeing somebody filming an unboxing of a ginormous Slowpoke? What would you do, Chad? <laughs> oh, imagine the people who got like the life-size Zara Aura. Or the life-size Furret. Yeah, that way we'll have like Slowpoke on the bed. I could get all my other Slowpoke plushies, like uh like this boy. We can have a Slowpoke comparison. It'll be great. What the hell? I moved Slowpoke, and I found a nano block. No. <laughs> oh no! This is gonna have to go uh, back in the Garchomp bag. Okay, hold on. How did that get over there? Okay, it's fine. It's going back in. <laughs> Bonus block. Glad that wasn't one I needed. Sheesh. <laughs> Every time I dropped one, I was like, oh my god, no. I'll never find it. 
Yeah, it came with a bunch of extras. I think this will be the next YouTube video chat. I gotta edit this down. Considering it took me three and a half hours to put together. <laughs> that was an undertaking. I'm still not over how difficult it was to kind of figure that out. How are like little- I guess- are they not even meant for little kids? Cause dang. I would have been super lost as a child trying to put that together. Nanoblock Garchomp I actually found it's I put it in the uh, the Garchomp collection. It's in the uh, the short. You can see where I put it. It looks good. It looks good in there. Maybe there's no more blocks sitting around here. I still have Gengar hanging out. And I never noticed how similar it is to the Wicked Cool Toys Gengar, but they're almost, like, identical. It's kind of scary. Almost completely identical. I should get the Arceus model kit. That would be fun to put together on stream. Oh, imagine if they made Hisui and Zoroark. <laughs> Give me more Hisui and Zoroark merch, please. I think we might get a Hisui and Zoroark Tomi figure. I think they announced a bunch of uh, new Tomi figures. Eternatus model kit? That would be sick. I mean, they never made... Uh, they never made Zacian or Zamazenta. Because they made Solgaleo and Lunala. But they never made uh, the two dogs. It's kind of weird. Usually they make the legendaries. Like, one of the first videos on YouTube is me doing the Zekrom model kit. They usually make the legendaries. They made Xerneas. They made Evital. I don't think they made Zygarde. I think Zygarde was skipped. <laughs> I think they passed on Zygarde. Understandable. Did they make Necrozma? I don't remember Necrozma. But they definitely made Sogaleo and Lunala. Because those were really great. Then they were just like, no sword dog or shield dog for you, bro. Let's make a giant Magikarp. <laughs> Let's make a giant Magikarp instead. YouTube playlist is looping the same stuff again. of soup. Life-size Eternatus model kit. That would sure be something. <laughs> you have to buy a, diff a, a different house just for your Eternatus to be in. How would you build something that's 65 feet life-size? You'd need a crane. <laughs> you would need a crane. <laughs> Do you? I was thinking this is the music I was thinking of having during the background. Hold on, is this shiny? No. Mm. 
I mean, tell me that's not perfect, right? <laughs> it even just, it feels like it fits Slowpoke to me. It feels perfect. <laughs> Why is this song so good? This is a 10 hour version, by the way. That is the 10 hour version. <laughs> Brother. Do they have, uh... Would this work? One hour of truck backing up beep sound. <laughs> we, we gotta do this, chat. <laughs> Wide load. Let's see, they got any better ones? Uh, yeah, what, what, one of those would be perfect. Perfect. It does. It really does. ASMR. <laughs> Slowpoke. I mean, if there's Funky Kong ASMR, who's to say, uh, there's, there's not Slowpoke? I mean, the Japanese Pokemon channel puts out a lot of Pokemon ASMR content. I'm not even joking. We'll figure out something, chat. <laughs> We'll figure out something for the slow poke. For the boy. My boy. What even went? I just have like an empty square where there used to be a sound effect. I'm gonna have to get rid of mm, what you say because that got dinged for copyright. <laughs> the clip is like five seconds long. That's That makes me so mad. No more, uh... Haha, -ha, funny meme song. Funky Kong. You have that- you have that favorite in Justin. You listen to that all the time. Funky Kong, uh... Helped you get to sleep at night. Totally radical, bro. ASMR content on YouTube is absolutely wild. It is a work of art, truly. Masterful work. It's actually ASMR, too. It's not just like... <laughs> it's, it's not just like... You know... A, a fake title. It's real. Funky Kong himself wants to help you. What a king. <laughs> what a Kong amongst men. The tingles. <laughs> I never get, like, I never experience that. Wario crashes car. What? It's like, what now? Excuse me? Huh? Think somebody made, like, Waluigi ASMR? Probably. Wario crashes your car. <laughs> uh, I, do I want to know more? 
Do I do I want to know more? All right, we're probably at 90 at this point, chat. So we'll move the thing up to 90. ASMR on YouTube is wild. You have like person scratches microphone, and then you have like <laughs> alien abduction. You get stabbed 50 times. Whoa. <laughs> no. Why is it called Waluigi Pleasures You? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> it's cursed knowledge. Oh, God. Yeah, there's a lot of like ASMR thumbnails where it's like, how is this not demonetized? Oh my god. <laughs> That's... I don't know how this isn't instantly demonetized, but okay. Chow music goes unnecessarily hard. I still remember the first time I was like, I don't know, introduced to the concept of ASMR. It was that 3D haircut. Anybody remember that? It was like the this Italian guy. It was like, uh... Giving you the haircut. You could hear it all the way around your head if you had headphones on. I thought it was cool. <laughs> I was like, whoa, this is kind of neat. Things you can do with sound. Gets you nuked, I know. Messed up world. <laughs> Messed up world. I'm still not over that uh, Live and Learn cover claiming the original Live and Learn, saying that they owned it. That was really, uh... <sighs> you hate to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it. Speaking of Sonic music... Bing bing. I don't know why there's like a weird box around Growlithe's mouth. That wasn't me. I just found the art came that way. <laughs> yeah, Tyler, where is it? Hey, Tyler, where is it? <laughs> Where's that link? He just goes radio silent. He refuses to share the link. It's his and his alone. ASM artist, yeah. artists is probably fun. They get to like dress up in goofy costumes and do a lot of like cosplay and play with props and stuff.
Wario dies in a car accident. <laughs> no. No, Wario. Why are there two separate videos about Wario in a car crash? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, they, shout out to whoever made that. The real peak, real peak YouTube right there. Only the good stuff. <laughs> Only the good stuff, truly. Oh my God. Are Wario and Waluigi going to show up in the Illumination Mario movie chat? They have to, right? Even if they're just like in the background. They have to, right? <laughs> Were they casted? I don't remember. That whole that whole uh, Nintendo Presents was like a fever dream. And right before they announced the cast, Tyler was gifted by Apollo with the gift of prophecy. Oh, good stuff. Really good stuff. My eye. Just fantastic. <sighs> Hot coffee? Or does it like, uh, Wario spills hot coffee on his lap or something? <laughs> That would hurt. I'm gonna get a shiny Raikou soon. Oh, you're still on the Raikou grind? Bruh. That sucks. Where is Growlithe? This is a good question. We'll give Growlithe another stream if it doesn't be shiny soon. Oh, this, so that's your your payment for getting Entei so fast. <laughs> the game was like, oh, we gave you Entei for free. Now you gotta pay. Now you really gotta pay. Oh, I didn't mean to go down there. They got you hooked. They got your claw, their claws, and sunk into you, and that's it. That's that's it. That's all it takes. Thunderstorms possible tonight? Ooh, comfy. Forty-two vi videos. <laughs> That's a lot. That's dedication to the craft. I can appreciate that. That is dedication to the craft. Are there any games coming out this month? Is there anything uh, particularly exciting coming out for for this month? Oh, 
Uh, back. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> no way! Thank you, Wario. This was a gift delivered to us by Wario, chat. <laughs> I would like to thank not only Wario, but Waluigi. Mamma <laughs> mia. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we did it. Oh, we'll have to. It's around, around the same same amount that it took for uh, Mianfu, I think. You love to see it. <laughs> You actually love to see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Add the oh my god to the soundboard. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Where'd this egg, how'd this get in there? Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty. We're mathing. So how many boxes was it? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty. We're mathing. So how many boxes was it? One, two, three. So 110? Redo this in an Ultra Ball. I don't think so. I didn't count these two because the first box has a pit of an Ponyta in it. <laughs> They're in Great Balls because the parent uh, Blitzen is in a Great Ball. I know, normally I like to style. But uh, we were this... See, chat? This is what I'm talking about. I have good success with shiny parents. <laughs> Like this is uh this is the Growlithe I got from Let's Go. That's why it's in a great ball, because this was caught in uh in Let's Go. So shiny shiny parent, shiny child. Alright, let's save. <laughs> let's do a fast save. Let's go see our boy. Nice. All, all of the shinies just seem to show up around, like, 110. I'll take it. I will take it. Hi, Senti. Swap out real quick. Aww. Growl is kind of smaller than I thought it would be. Isn't it kind of large? Like, Officer Jenny... <laughs> James is Growlithe. I feel like they're they're bigger in the anime. He's just a little guy. Look at him. Arf. <laughs> Boof. Just a little guy. You almost can't tell that it's shiny. It's more yellow in the Dream World art. He does. He does bounce. <laughs> Alright, let's look at Arcanine. I don't think we ever properly looked at Arcanine. Oh, Arcanine should be much bigger than this. <laughs> this is wrong. This is incorrect. I mean, it looks good. The model looks good. It, it just needs to be, like, sized up a tad. Father. <laughs> Father. We used Arcanine in competitive. Arcanine's really fun to use in competitive. I appreciate fire types that are actually good. <laughs> Dad? Arcanine's got such a nostalgic cry. As recently as Gen 4, I know. All right, let's take your Everstone. We're good. We'll stash Blitzen right here. Then... No, that's the bad box. 
All right, next to Suicune, chat. Suicune, who we got at 17, by the way. <laughs> a lot of good shinies lately, dang. Look at all these good friends. In, like, the span of, like, a month. A lot of good shinies. Well, I'd say that was quite the successful, uh, cash-in, chat. That was quite, quite the success. Wait, does it say that it came from Let's Go? Let me see. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. It has that, uh, stamp. From the Kanto region. So let's see. Who have we not gotten out of this box yet? We didn't- we never got Pinsir. <laughs> Remember when we shiny hunted Pinsir? Uh, Cherubi always betrays. Let's see. We never got, uh, Purloin. Didn't think of its name. We never got Purloin. Never got Basculin. <laughs> never got Helio. I completely forgot that Executor was in this game. Did Ty Tyler, did you get Execute Shiny? I think you did when we raced. I'm pretty sure you got Execute, the gold eggs. Man, you got Esper. <laughs> Oh, we never got Mudkip. We have like a another makeshift shiny box over here. This guy goes, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's hatch the rest of these eggs, Chad. What if we get a second one? What if? What if there was another? Two of them! I want to say Mienfu was like egg 109? Or like 111? Scarily close! I mean, I'll take that all day. That rules. <laughs> I'll take that all day. If you had two shots to get another shiny growly, would you take them? I don't know. Who should we shiny hunt after Growlithe chat? What feels what feels right? I mean it is shiny Sunday. <laughs> it is shiny Sunday, or at least it technically was. We did start the stream on Shiny Sunday. Shiny Sunday always giveth. Well, good. I'll go ahead and throw this VOD up on YouTube. I've been I've been doing better at saving VODs, Chad. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> All right, one last Growlithe. No. <laughs> that would have been great. To this day, chat, only Snowrun has done this. Only Snowrun has given me the two shots. Okay, I definitely think it's time that I'm gonna have to go into home and release all these breed jacks. Well, we still got a little bit of space. Still a little bit. Please, Scarlet Violet, have mass release. <laughs> Please have mass release! Oh, man. Remember when we shiny hunted Appleton or Applin? That was... not successful. <laughs> that was not very successful, was it? Or Darkrai, Tina... Uh... Eh. 
I'm looking for ideas right now. These are all, uh, den shinies. Golbat shinies is so good. So good. As is Politoads. As is Feels. As is Gabites. <laughs> As is Gabites. Sally be so green. We got Bagon though. I hatched Bagon. So we're good on Bagon. I can never say this Pokemon's name. Claw Launcher. Claw Claw Launcher. <laughs> It's like a tongue twister. I love how uh, Armaldo and Cradley are both pink. Giblets. Giblets. Butterfree. Wow, we've never done Krogunk before. <laughs> Krogunk is one of the worst Pokemon in PLA. I'm just gonna say it. Manetric? Like, uh, doing Electric? Electric would be an interesting one, honestly. That actually would be kind of spicy. That would be kind of spicy. God, Bolton is such a bad shiny. Look at this. This is awful. <laughs> this is terrible. Not even Yampers is that bad. I don't know. I don't know how they ruined it. They soiled it. Shiny Ponyta got significantly devalued. <laughs> okay, this one doesn't count. Smoochum. This is. Galarian Weezing Shiny is such a downgrade from the original. That green. <laughs> I feel like I need to go get my sunglasses to look at that. How do people hate this? I love shiny Espeon. Kabuto. Cryagonal. Shiny Cryagonal is such a mystery. So strange. Oh, uh, we got Growlithe chat. I'm happy. I don't even know what to like make a pull out of. What what <laughs> what what do? What do? Oh, we shiny I did carbink at some point. Remember carbink? I don't. <laughs> I don't. All right, let me just throw a few of these on here. Where's my Twitch dash? Do I not have the Twitch dash even up? What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't even have the Twitch dash up. Do, do, do. Okay, new poll. Uh, what do? Okay, what are some choices here? Uh, answer. Uh, who else? Who else should we put on here? Poll. I mean, we gotta put carbink. I only brought it up. All right, chat, there's the poll. There's the poll. <laughs> Choose wisely. There's some interesting options, that's for sure. 
There are some interesting options. <sighs> you know which one, Tyler. The Mounkey. I mean, I could do Basimian, but... <laughs> Be kind of like, well. Wow, there's one clear winner here so far. I mean, I can't blame y'all. I can't. I can't blame the Apple voters. It is a good one. I'm forever salty that uh, the Pokemon Center never restocked the life-size Appleton plush. They restocked it once. And I did not get it. Apple has a pretty large lead. <laughs> yeah, Tyler. <laughs> don't you, uh, don't you see me? Silver 317, see me. Surprised there aren't more votes for Malky. But, like, I get it. I get it. I do. I'm not in the mood for Dynamax Adventures, but when we do tackle Dynamax Adventures again, I think we'll do randoms. Need a break from Tina already. I guess while the ch while the poll goes, Chad, I'm gonna stretch my legs for a second. Oh, another vote for Monkey. Appleton is lumpy. This is this is true. This is true. All right, looks like Apple is the winner. So we'll shiny hunt Appleton for a bit. Why not? Yeah, Tina stinks. Tina's not fun to fight. I have to like. <laughs> I have to be in the right kind of mood to do Tina. It's 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 really not a fun Dynamax to do. Wait, for Tina or Apple? Apple. Apple Apple. <laughs> apple Apple. I don't know, who knows? Tina could take 50 years for all we know. I don't trust Tina, do you, chat? <laughs> I don't trust. I don't trust at all. I don't trust at all. Do I have Apple artwork? It's in here. So, you know what? We're just gonna use this chat. Perfect. <laughs> As it should be. Tyler, you and I, we could have had this plush, Tyler. Tyler, we could have had this plush. <laughs> if somebody had paid attention to the ping. Shaking my head. Why does that feel like an eternity ago? It did. It did sell out so fast. 
It's one of the only life-size Pokemon plushies that isn't like $50 billion. I believe it was 80, if I remember correctly, which is still a lot. <laughs> Granted, that's still a lot, but it's not like, you know, 400, whatever. Oh, I also maxed out my shiny charm in Poke Clicker chat. Finally got enough shinies where it's just completely maxed out. Let's go! Apple. The Gen 1 tax. I think it's that much money because it's so big. Slowpoke's deceptive. You think it would be kind of small? It's not. <laughs> it is absolutely not. Appleton is like a dog. It it's like dog-sized. It's really small. That's why Appleton wasn't so much money. No, I think you could, like, pick Appleton up and hold it in your arms. <laughs> you could pick it up and hold it in your arms. We're not even gonna bother with the egg count, Chad. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. As you should. It's one foot tall, chat. It's one one foot four. And it weighs twenty-eight pounds. So yeah. <laughs> it's small. It is a small lad. God, this music gives me bad flashbacks. <laughs> Cannon score. Awful. Come on, Appleton. Can you be shiny for once? We've shiny under this Pokemon again and again and again and again and again and again. It's never been shiny. Never have we had a green apple. Maybe Pukamuku brought the luck tonight. Who knows? It was all of the puke. <laughs> the puke giveth. Maybe Pukamuku liked the uh, the meme I posted in memes and Discord. <laughs> Rabuch just rudely like kicking it and Pukamuku punches it in the face. Deserved. <laughs> Deserved. Absolutely deserved.
Do 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 do. Real life Pukamuku. They've made a life size Pukamuku plush. Pukamuku's got quite a bit of merch, actually. Quite a few pieces of merch. I mean, as this Pinchurin, as the Snob, the whole Bean Squad has a, a good amount of merch, actually. Pokemon Center's made tons of Pukamuku plushies. I don't remember exactly. I want to say it's life size. <laughs> I want to say that that's life size. Pukamuku's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Every time I type Badoof, uh, I have a tweet with Badoof. Badoof bot on Twitter responds saying Badoof. Truly the greatest bot of all time. Sometimes I wonder if somebody ever tried to make a Badoof bot after I already made it on Twitch. Impossible. Baby GK had a really nice Ursaluna figure on it recently. Favorite <laughs> GK is weird. <laughs> I, I, I almost don't even like, there's points where there's like some figures on there where it's just like, oh God, why? Should I be talking to people about this website? <laughs> Most of their Pokemon figures look great, though. Most. Not all. Scarlet and Violet aren't Violet, not Violent. <laughs> violence, Pokemon Violence version. I hope they aren't as linear as Sword and Shield are. Y'all see that uh, Game Freak has like four work days now. They're like, and they have like a lot of time off. They're a weirdly progressive company for Jap for Japanese company in that regard. Oh come on, pacifist and Pokemon genocide. <laughs> Yeah, to struggle. I believe so. That's what made me think of think of that. That segue.
I mean, good for them. It's just, it's nice when it, when uh, devs aren't crunched to shit and back. Especially with the recent uh, Nintendo stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Alright, chat. Let's do like... Uh, how many have we hatched? Okay, we got six. Six eggs. My brain is fading right now. We got the shiny, so let's do the final six, chat. If you had six shots. Also, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. It's my stream. I can, I can stop whenever. <laughs> I like to hold myself to like certain times for some reason, as if that matters. It doesn't. All right, chat, final five. If you had five shots. Yeah, it's it's been a while since we've gotten a uh, Badoof Buck cashed in shiny hunt to be shiny, so. I make no promises <laughs> that it'll be shiny. So if it happens, that's great. Another one. Another one to add to the uh, compilation. Man, we're gonna have to like crank out Scarlet Violet Shinies. <laughs> it's not gonna be a lot of time after that game, those games come out to, to even attempt a shiny hunt before the, it's the end of the year. All right, three shots, chat. Three. I would hope so. I mean, I hope for all my faves. I know I complained about Gen 4 Pokemon, but I hope Garchomp comes back. <laughs> I hope it comes back, although I'd be tempted to use it for like the 15th time in a row. I hope for alligators in the game. Haven't seen my boy for alligator in a long time. <laughs> Didn't enjoy shiny hunting Totodile in BDSP. All right, two more chat. Two more. I keep losing my voice. I don't know what's happening. If you had one apple shot. If I had one shot for the YouTube fucking playlist to not play the same stuff over and over again. Apple always betrays. Always betrays, chat. But you know what? I'll take the shiny Growlithe. I'm super happy we got that. I'm super happy we got that. Let's go look at the lad. There he is, chat. We did it. We got a good Growlithe. Honestly, I really want a shiny hunt Chin Chow. That might be next. Or Barboach, or one of those like weird, kind of obscure fish Pokemon. I love hunting the weird, obscure ones. Yeah, next week we're gonna do probably like uh, we'll probably tackle Rayquaza at some point next week. Uh, whenever I get my 
Lucario box and my Arceus figure box. We'll do a card stream. I'll probably do Dynamax randoms. But yeah, this, uh, this VOD will go up on YouTube at some point. And again, if you didn't see the, uh, the YouTube short of the Garchomp collection, that's up there too. Well, I like Chin Chow and uh, Barboach. Not as much for Aracuda. <laughs> Although I haven't shiny hunted it. We could do like a fish day. All the fishies. And we'll probably do another Tina at some point. Maybe maybe like a Darkrai again. We'll see. We'll figure out something, chat. But thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. I appreciate it. Shiny hunt. Great success. Thanks for all the follows, the resub. If you're new here, join the Discord. But yeah, I'm gonna go rest my voice. <laughs> I haven't even been talking that much, have I? I don't know. Alright, good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. I'll see you all next week for more shiny hunting shenanigans. Bye-bye. <gasps>